Just briefly, so what happens in a blended classroom, daily class? The kids walk in and what happens? Do you want to go first? Sure. It depends on the teacher, but let me give you an example yesterday of uh, third grade science. Happened to be in that class yesterday with, with uh, student teachers. Uh, they had students came in. They immediately got their personal journal, which tracks their data, has their SMART goals, goals that they've set for themselves for the year and also for the particular unit they have. They have taken, they had already taken their pretest on this particular topic. I, I not even re can't remember exactly what the topic was, the unit topic, but they had taken a pretest. So they knew exactly if they were in the yellow, which means they have some work to do, they can get better. Or if they're in the red, oh, they're going to have to do a lot more work. You know, they're, they're just, they're, they're a newbie. That's what the teacher calls them. You're a newbie. You've got a lot of growth to go. Or if they're in green, maybe they had already mastered that content. They took their journal, so they had everything with them and they had family time these third graders and they spent time the teacher gave a mini lesson on weather uh, around uh, the smart board with the students all whole group for about 10 minutes just talking about what they're doing they had a little elbow partner time to discuss one of the activities they were given and at the end of the 10 minute family time with an overview whole group then each student broke out they had a playlist for that unit they had their must-dos, the four or five or six content things that absolutely every student, unless they had tested out of that unit, had to accomplish, they had to complete for a grade and for their own learning. And then they had their list of may-dos, the things that they could choose to do for themselves. Again, the pace is up to the student. They may choose to do some of their may-dos early or their must-dos first. They can pick and choose. Uh, there are stations around the room. There may be, uh, there's a set of uh, a few hard uh, desktops that they could use to watch videos. There were videos that were talking to them about, they were, actually they were talking about weather. So they were looking up weather. Another station had a, is a collaborative area where a few of the students were together to look up different weather in different parts of the country. Um, and then another station where the students were working independently on some of their work. And the students just flow seamlessly to where they need to be. Again, doesn't happen overnight. The teachers spend weeks onboarding those students, teaching them and training them how that classroom is different than a traditional classroom. But now it's just, it's just what it is. The students just walk in. So it looks very different in every classroom, but that's an example of one. Whole group is there, but then one-on-one -on -one time with the teachers and, uh, as well. As they go to their stations, one station is always a chance to sit down with their teacher and talk through any of the problems that they're having and to set new goals for themselves. So that's one example. So I, um, I guess I'm chicken because to have every classroom getting to decide and do it other is, is beautiful. From but with 55,000 kids, uh, well pre Harvey 55,000, 54,000 kids, it's um, is a little scary for us. So we have a pretty systematic uh, approach, and all of our classrooms have a lot of the same similarities, although they do uh, differ from teacher to teacher. So about two hours a day, the student is working on their playlist, uh, so working on content. Through the playlist, there's still their small group instruction going on, they're working with their peers, they're, you know, they, they now in our, in our program, it pops up with kids who've been super successful on an area that you might be struggling in. So you can actually go ask Mr. Taylor, hey, can you, can you come over and help me because you were successful in this. They can volunteer to be that, that person. So during PLT time, they're learning the content, they're taking content assessments, and they're actually systematically working through the TEKS.